All right, so compute the limit or state why it doesn't exist. In this case, what we want to do every time essentially is, but I look where I'm going first. X is going to 4, and then I look at my expression. Is there a problem at 4? Yes, this is actually 0 over 0. I have the square root of 4 is 2 minus 2 is 0 on the top, and I have 4 minus 4 is 0, so this is indeterminate. I can't tell unless I can use some clever algebra to rectify this, which is what I'm going to do. So what I see is this is actually x minus 2 squared. And so now the x is actually what's not a perfect square. But the hint is on the top. If I want that to cancel and I can get rid of this, I'm going to write this as the square root of x squared minus 2 squared. And that is a difference of squares. So that is the square root of x minus 2 times the square root of x plus 2. So now with that clever identity that I can see here, they're trying to train you to see these things not just as what it is, x minus 4. It's actually root x minus 2, root x plus 2, and the hint was on the top already. They're going to cancel. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x minus 2 over, this is now the square root of x minus 2 times the square root of x plus 2. They cancel. So, uh, whoa, where are you going? Get back here. So, now that I've used that clever identity, I can now magically cancel these, and then the problem goes away. I simplify one more time. The limit as x approaches 4 of uh, 1 over the square root of x plus 2 now. I re After I simplify and I make a clever move, I look at it. Where am I going? x is going to 4 still. But now, do I have a problem? No. So I can put that in there. This is equal to the square root of 4 plus 2, which is equal to 1 over 2 plus 2. That's Barney math. 2 plus 2 is 4. That's correct. So 1 quarter. The limit is 1 quarter.